Next up, we're looking at factory navigation. So it's very straightforward to use. We can search for an address along the very top there. So if we just start typing in an address, it's going to give us a little predictive text. So as you can see there, we can adjust and we can pick whatever address we want to. We can save it as a favorite. So I'm going to save it as a favorite for a second there. I'm just going to show you why in a second. And then we can then start. So if we just hit start, as you can see there, so we've got our favorites. So it's now saved it in. Oh, that's why I was like, what's happening? Uh, saved it as a favorite. So if we go into our search now, we've got our history, homework, favorites, which we're going to jump into. And with this favorite that I set up, we can now start or we can edit. So if we edit it out, I'm going to show you this one, we can change the name if we want to. So it doesn't have a name associated with it. So if you wanted to say Bill or Frank's house or Sally's house or whatever the case may be, we can then press the voice command prompt on the steering wheel and we can say navigate to Bill's, navigate to home, navigate to work, whatever the case may be. Or we can just hit delete in order to delete it as a favorite. So it's that simple to be able to set up, edit, and delete favorites. Now, one of the great things is that we've got the flexibility to search using addresses there. We can use GPS coordinates. We can look at point of interest icons. So if we want to go food, shopping, recreation, and a number of options, we've got a ton of flexibility there. Along the bottom, we can also change a few things out. So we can go English, Spanish, French as necessary. We can go upper, lowercase if we want to, different unique characters. And we can also press our search bar along the very bottom if we want to go that route. But tons of different options available looking at searching. As we move back, we've got a few options there. So we've got our base menu, we've got our pinch to zoom there. I find it's not quite as responsive as Google Maps is, but it still is nice all at the same time. We also can recenter us back in. We can change it to different map views by pressing the button there. We can start if we want to go to a different address as well. We're just going to press home and back to nav again. Going into our menu, we've got a series of other options now. So series of different screen views. So we've got our full map versus highway exit traffic list, and then some advanced navigation settings. So, map preferences. We've got our 3D city model breadcrumbs. So I want you to think Hansel and Gretel. So as we take different routes, it's going to leave a breadcrumb letting us know places that we've gone, which is kind of neat. Moving back in, we've also got our point of interest icons, and then if there's any accidents, so we can see exactly what's going on as necessary. Route preferences. Do we want the fastest, the shortest, or the most eco-friendly route? Do we want to always use the fastest route? Do we want to use HOV lanes? And then do we want dynamic route guidance based off of traffic? Do we want to avoid freeways, toll roads, and things like that? And that's all going to dynamically update what's going on with the route as we go. We've got our navigation preferences, and that's going to be our guidance prompts. So as we're coming up to a turn, do we want a voice and tone, a voice, or strictly a tone? So we've got quite a few options that are available, and that's going to be the base of the navigation settings. We can see exactly where we are. We've got our home and our work addresses there. We can search, so we can search this way again if we want to. Brings us back to this main screen. Moving back, we can see addresses that we've searched for previously. But because I deleted that favorite, that's why it's not showing up. We've got our favorites, point of interest icons, which we saw in this base screen as well. And we can swipe across again for our home or our work address. But that's the basics of using navigation inside of the Corsair, and it is very simple to do it.